have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys, I haven't done an MVH in a long time, so I finally decided that I'm gonna get another Briar Horse. Now, when I went to the store, they didn't have what I wanted. Now, I was really disappointed in this, but I looked around and I was like, hey, there's a limited edition horse right here. You know, I love getting one of the traditions because then when they go out, they gain value. So I'm like, huh, yeah, I'll get it. So I got it and I actually found a great use for her. Um, everybody knows Daisy from Seekers. I mean, I hope you do. She's the little fool that's friends with Aurora. If you haven't watched Seekers, you won't know who she is. Basically, season two, we're just gonna give a few spoilers away. It takes place six, five to six years later in the series, which means that all the fools are grown up. I was thinking about having Smoke and Double Dutch be Daisy but then I looked at this horse and I'm like well this horse seems to fit her better so I did this I got this bad girl her name is Beachcomber and I'm so glad I got her I absolutely adore her I mean look at her she is so beautiful look at that that's amazing. And she's a Chinko Tez pony too. Don't judge me if I said Chinko Tez wrong. That's always how I pronounced it. So anyways, I'm gonna open her up. I love her from the outside already. I mean, I'm obsessed with this thing. I love Misty and Stormy. Unfortunately, I actually don't have them, which is pretty freaking stupid. You may see them in Seekers, but let me tell you this. Daisy and her mother Morningflower, yeah, they're Misty and Stormy, but they're not actually mine. They're my papaya briars yes she has briars and i used hers also for the white herd it sounds racist but i promise i'm not being racist anyways i'm gonna open her up stop talking about seekers and let's get started okay guys so i got her out yes it's a she just in case you guys didn't know that i always thought she was a guy but then i looked at vanilla bean and i was like huh, it's a girl but anyways i actually got one of these magazines too this is my first uh, 2017 magazine I'm gonna look through this a little bit. Okay guys, you wanna see which one I really wanted? I wanted that one. I wanted this black Arabian mare. Sad, I didn't have it in the stores. Ugh. Anyways, uh, enough about her. I love this horse. I love how she's rearing up. I just, I love the whole attitude thing. I feel like she's kinda got an attitude. I don't know, I like the tail. Not my favorite, but I kinda like the tail. I like how it's got like the little white at the end and she's got like her foot cocked and everything. I think that's kinda cool. Just zoomed on her but like twice. Yeah, I think she looks really nice. I really like her. I don't have to see any other side yet, so while well, you guys are looking at it, I'm looking at it. Oh my god. I love it. Dude, okay, this, the mane that she has right here, it looks like my horse's mane, and I absolutely love it. <gasps> and the muzzle. Oh my gosh. The muzzle looks amazing. The mane and the muzzle, I absolutely love. I feel like this muzzle would fit Daisy really well. I love it. I love it a lot so far. I'm so glad I got this one. <laughs> Can you guys see the cat back there? Ginger! Hi, kitty. Like, what the hell? <laughs> She's like, okay, bye. I actually really like her so far. I'm not gonna lie there. I don't really have much to say about her. There's a little bit of an over paint right here near the mane. I love the mane. It's just like there's a little bit of an over paint there. I just noticed that, which is kind of weird because I should have noticed it earlier, but I didn't. But yeah, besides like the tail and the over paint right there, I really like it. Woo, and the blaze right there. I like it how it's a little... Yeah, look at that. That is so cute. Does anybody else think that's really cute? So anyways, I really like her. I hope you guys do too. I really like her. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social medias, which are down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, one more thing. So, I am currently thinking of more video ideas because when I started getting into horse edits, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have all these videos to post now, but, and which is true, I did have a ton of videos to post for a while, so, like, I kind of relaxed on making videos, because, like, my computer was filling up with, like, super awesome edits, and now that I'm kind of, like, getting, like, chill with horse edits, I'm trying to think of more briar-themed things I can do, so I was thinking that maybe I could do more horse photography, or 
maybe I can make a short film of some sort, but maybe I could do like maybe a monthly photography video where I show you guys just random photography because I have a ton of briars right now. I mean like maybe not as much as like other people who have been collecting for way longer than me, but still I have a lot that I don't use very often and I feel like I'm not just I'm really not using them a lot so I am thinking that maybe I could include a lot more of them if I did realistic photography with them so I was thinking about doing that give me a comment saying what you think I should do or you know if anything also another thing is that for seekers I'm realizing that I want to add more characters but I don't want to play a part with them because I want to give my briar community a chance to participate in seekers so what I want to do is I am adding more characters I'm actually adding another herd and I already have them all set up so I am really excited to release them and for the people who are already playing a part in seekers there are a few characters that they play that aren't huge characters I guess I should probably put that in there on how important they are in the series you know just to kind of make things clear so if you don't want to if you want to play like a background horse then I'll put that there be like oh it's gonna be a background horse it's not really gonna be a big part of this like for example um Giovanni is a big part of the series because he is basically Aurora's non-biological father if you haven't watched Secrets please go watch it I, I don't like giving away spoilers <laughs> Anyways, as you could tell, I actually had a lot of news to put out there. Also, it's not that I'm running out of ideas or anything, but I'm just asking you guys what you guys want to see on my channel. Like, is there anything specific you want to see on my channel? Do you want me to collab with somebody? Like, some, like anybody? Like, because I'll collab with somebody. I mean, why not? So, yeah, if you want me to collab with somebody, put um, their username at the bottom, and I'll look them up and be like, Hey, what's Person's really cool. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's all the news I have for you guys. Um, I'm gonna start doing this more often in the NBHs that I put out here because I mean, why not post an update video in each NBH? So yeah. Uh sorry if this uh ending was so long. I hope most of you guys stayed for the end of this if you do want to play a part in Seekers. Another video should be coming out about that. Give me some more video ideas if you want me to collab with somebody if you think that the photography is a good idea. Also, I do a ton. I do a few horse facts videos, and if you guys want to hear about your favorite breed of horse, you know, put them down in the description, and I'll do a video of them, and stuff like that. I don't know. Anything. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!